It was in 2018 that we first learned about a lawsuit filed against the CDCR by a former Tehachapi prison guard who claimed she was denied reasonable accommodations during her pregnancy. Sarah Kugel said she lost her unborn baby two months after she fell while trying to break up a prison fight. Her attorney now sharing with us that a class action lawsuit filed following her story has now garnered nearly 300 plaintiffs. You know, we're supposed to rotate. Why is today, why is now that I'm pregnant being different? They don't have any respect for working moms, and it's pretty evident. I would look things up myself and try to see what options there were, and I knew they were doing the wrong thing. These are just a few of the faces of women involved in a class action lawsuit against the CDCR, arguing that during their time as employees and correctional officers, they were denied certain accommodations and lighter duty while pregnant, some even alleging retaliation. I was going to be training those two weeks. So it, it just didn't make sense to me. It was kind of like I got punished just for showing them my doctor's note because my doctor said I can't do that. They're like, no, we don't accommodate anybody. Contacted my doctor as soon as I got home. And I said, hey, like I'm having issues with work. Um, they wanted me to stay today. And I basically told them no. Um, and I'm just afraid that I'm going to get in trouble. Many of these women stating that when they entered the field, the policy did provide accommodations and some even had children during their career. In 2014, I had another child um, while I was at CDCR in which they did give me accommodations. But something changed in 2015. With the last one, he was born May... Uh, 6, 2020. I did approximately maybe seven stays inside the hospital, twice in which they gave me epidurals thing and I was going into labor because of all this. Because I was never asking to be put off. I was just asking for some kind of different post. Moving on to 2016, I be became pregnant with my son. I went to our union and asked, you know, is the same thing, are the same things happening? When I went to the union in 2016, they said, oh, that's not happening. However, no one could explain why the change to policy was made. In 2015, you know, we began to challenge it. Uh, we challenged it with Sarah Kugel's case. We were starting to get lots of phone calls and inquiries. The summer of 2017 was when my, like, job description or like the units that I worked in went under CDCR. And so at that time we fell under their umbrella of policies, um, which unfortunately did not include a pregnancy accommodation. While Kugel's case was settled in 2019 for nearly $1.7 million, her attorney, Arnold Peter, continued to argue the issue. Each of those individual situations were such that it didn't make sense to file separate lawsuits. It only made sense to file a class action lawsuit so the policy could be addressed statewide. Legislators began to get involved. Former Assembly Member Rudy Salas authoring Assembly Bill 1906, the Workplace Safety Bill for Pregnant Correctional Officers, which advanced through committees in 2020, but was vetoed by Governor Gavin Newsom after the CDCR announced it would revert to its pre-2015 policy. So our next step is to ask Governor Newsom to actually step in and get some resolution until the policy has been fully implemented, which we don't believe it has. Along with the ongoing class action lawsuits, eight of the plaintiffs have attached their names to letters to the governor's office, as well as Attorney General Rob Bonta. We are also asking that the CDCR you know, be monitored and provide a report to Governor Newsom's office. Now, we reached out to the CDCR, who said that they could not comment on pending litigation, but they do currently have hearings scheduled this month in Los Angeles for the class action lawsuit, as well as for a lawsuit filed by the Department of Fair Employment and Housing, a department that, like the CDCR, falls under Governor Gavin Newsom's purview. For 23ABC News, I'm Veronica Morley, connecting you.